This little village in shades of rainbow candy is a vineyard must-see. The gingerbread houses in Oak Bluffs are not inhabited by gnomes and fairies. Real people live here, including Richard and Jennifer Michelson, who discovered this community in the 1970s. I told Jennifer, someday I will buy you one of these little cottages, and um, I came through on my promise. That was in 2008. Today, the Michelson's 960-square-foot cottage is a cozy getaway. Ours are one of the few winterized, although we're mostly here in the summer or the spring. We took this picture. The Michelsons also live in Western Massachusetts, where Jennifer is a yoga teacher and interfaith minister. Richard is an award-winning poet and writer of children's books, many of them about social justice. This has been a great place for me to come and get away, and I do a lot of writing while I'm here. Just walk into here, and there's a sense of peace, a quietness, and an energy that is really lovely. The campground, as the community is called, began in the 1830s as a religious retreat for Methodists. Initially, members pitched tents on the property. Somewhere around the 1870s, they started to build these gingerbread cottages in the carpenter gothic style. The Michelsons believe this 1879 photo shows members of a musical troupe at their cottage. We believe that some of the people were staying here. Today, 10% of these 300 houses are occupied year round. A performance hall here is an island mainstay. The biggest challenge of gingerbread life, the upkeep. <laughs> it's pretty constant, constant upkeep. Constant. Oak Bluffs is also home to a chef who whips up a feast at the local VFW. New York trained Dion Thomas had his own restaurants on Martha's Vineyard. One was destroyed in a fire. His other restaurants on the Caribbean island of Anguilla, where he grew up, were lost to hurricanes. So I was a chef without a home. And so I came to the VFW, and it's been 11 years at the VFW. Chef Dion, as he's called, kept his doors open for takeout throughout COVID-19. His dishes are hearty and packed with Caribbean flavor. If you say you want something from Trinidad or Haiti or Anguilla or Barbados, Jamaica, I can make it. Local seafood is also a specialty, in particular, channel whelk, a type of conch. It can taste like scallops if cooked correctly, says Chef Dion. No one was serving it in their restaurant. I started experimenting with this, and that led me to writing a book on the Martha's Vineyard conch. To this day, I'm the only person serving it in the restaurants. Can I pound one? Yo, certainly. On the menu today, conch fritters and conch chowder. This is the red, so this is how we would make it in the Caribbean. And I keep this gluten-free, and I use the organic vegetables. I'm gonna oh, massage yeah, it. Yeah, yes. Conch can also Ooh. be grilled. You hear that sizzle? It's gonna be good. Jerk chicken with fried plantains is another classic. So we do a tablespoon of jerk sauce to okay. a pound of chicken. Let's spice it up. Spice it up. Going in at 350. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes, Mr. Chicken will be ready. Chef Dion also has a catering business working alone in the off season. He says his customers are loyal and appreciative. I stayed throughout COVID. I never shut the door. Maybe that has something to do. People remember. Maybe your food is good. Yeah, um, maybe the food is good. Oak Bluff's usually hop-in restaurant and shopping scene is starting to heat up. This is an institution. It has a heartbeat of its own. It has a life of its own. The Ritz has been around since 1944. Once a grizzled dive bar, it's now a premier venue for live music. The live music that is here is like no other. It's as close to Austin as you can get. Owners Jackie and Larkin Stallings should know. They hail from Texas, where they own several bars and restaurants. We've been coming to the island since 1997. We always came for our anniversary, and there was a for sale sign in the window, and Larkin was like, let's buy the Ritz. Stallings says this summer will be a true test for businesses needing a post-pandemic boom. So many businesses that have been here 50 plus years are gonna really struggle to come back because those are the things that make this place a treasure, but it's slowly building back.